The 100 hour service on a modern two-stroke outboard is probably something you're not going to try at home. But you want to know what's going on at the dealership when they do that work, right? We're here at Norfolk Marine today and Chris is going to show us step number one of the 100 hour maintenance interval. Okay, the first thing you can do is drain the lower unit oil by taking out the lower drain screw. And then you release the upper drain screw. And then you would tilt the engine down. Okay, the second step is going to be removing the spark plug boots. Then we're going to break the spark plugs loose. And remove them for the compression check. When the plugs are out, now's the time to check them for how they're burning. What you're looking for, you want to see the plug to be as white as possible on the center electrode. This one is actually in pretty good condition. This one here is starting to foul. Uh, this one is pretty typical of one year of service. Uh, this one here looks like it's burning a little rich. Okay, and now we take the compression gauge, put it in the number one cylinder, run it in until it's snug. Attach that. You want to make sure that the uh, safety lanyard's disconnected so you don't have any ignition spark while you're doing the uh, compression check. And now we're ready to crank the engine over. Okay, and we have 125 on that cylinder. Okay, and we have about 130 on that cylinder. So Chris, one was 125 and one was 130, and I know you're looking for those numbers to be close together, right? That's correct. Uh, as long as it's 15%, that's acceptable. Okay, now we install the new spark plugs. Okay, now we're going to refill the lower unit. Lenny, could I get you to trim this down level so we can get the uh, correct amount of oil in? That'll be great, thank you. Now you just pump it up until the oil comes out of this top hole. There it goes. Okay, and when it comes out of the top, you just uh, stop and let it level off and put the plug in it and you're done. You also want to make sure you clear the uh, tip of the magnet of any metal debris. And now we're going to grease the Zerk fittings. Now we're going to remove the prop, inspect for fishing line, and grease it. Now if anybody has any questions about how to remove a prop from an outboard, we do have a video on that in the Boats.com video library. Now why would you be concerned if you saw a fishing line wrapped around there? Well, a fishing line would cut into the seal and would cause the lower unit seal to fail letting water into the lower unit. And that could cause catastrophic damage. Definitely. So that's it, now we're done? Uh, not quite, we still have a uh, zinc that's in bad shape here, we need to replace that. And we should also change the fuel water separator filter in the boat. And that's it? That's it. Thanks. You're very welcome.